So this is all of the stuff we brought today. This is the living room. Those are doors that lead to a little patio. Do this is gonna be the dining space. Here is our kitchen. Really nice and large dishwasher, which is exciting. Here is my bedroom. Nice little window. Closet. Oh, sorry. This is Alex's bedroom. Super cute. This is our bathroom. Cute, cute. Shower, big enough bath for me to take a bath in, which is exciting. And then we have this really big closet, which is awesome. Super storage space. I have a bed. Yay. I'm going to start decorating it. Start putting some things together. Started working on the kitchen. We got some food. We got some dishes. We got some more food. It's going good. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm in my apartment alone for the first time. My mom had to go to the store to return something because it didn't fit. But here we are. I'm just taking a little moment in my single chair that is currently here. Oh, it has been a long day, but I'm happy that my room is set up for living at least. I definitely still have a bunch of stuff to unpack and there's still a lot more to get in and to do, but I'm happy with where we're at and I will just kind of show you around, give you a little update and let you know how it's going. So this is what the living room looks like right now. Um, I haven't set this up yet. This box is empty though, and we have our little poof. You can sit on it or use it as a footstool. I tried to hang up my tapestry, but that didn't go very well. And then I'm burning a candle because it smells a little stale in here. This is the kitchen. I got this really cute weekly planner for food. I just put these up, but I don't really like them, so I might take them down later, we'll see. And then the bathroom is looking good. We have the shower curtain up and the cute little shower mat, bath mat, that's what it's called. In here, just towels and cleaning supplies, meds and such for when people get sick. This is going to be Alex's room. It's currently empty, but this is her room, and this is her big old closet. And then we have my room, which is the most done because it's where I can, uh, I have to sleep tonight. So I got my little fan. I always sleep with a fan on. That's a bunch of stuff that I need to unpack. It's all toiletries. And then this is my bed. I started doing my little wall collage, then I realized that I left a bunch of the stuff, oh, you can see my shadow, at home, so I'm going to do that tomorrow when my sister brings the rest of them, and clothes. We figured out that my dresser is not going to fit in this closet. I thought it was bigger, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to have another solution, so yeah, that's that. Good morning, you guys. So I am still in the apartment. I stayed here alone <laughs> for the first time ever it was a little creepy at first just because like our complex is super quiet and so like every noise I heard I was stressed <laughs> but everything was of course totally fine and it was just me being stressed out and now I am getting ready to go to work so that's gonna be <laughs> we're back moving and grooving working on the room I got my tapestry up and now we're gonna work on these <coughs> Christmas lights there's more on the bed and I have this funky little shelf oh and a poster and some pictures we moved my bed into a different spot and we really like it Emma set up my closet which I'll show you later 
and yeah we're just getting stuff together and it's starting to look really good so i'll give you guys a little update after we finish the room stuff moving is hard you guys i am utterly exhausted because i woke up early and i worked all day and wow i'm just really ready to lay in bed but i did get some more stuff done not long after I filmed the last clip, my sister and I decided we needed a break, so we went out to dinner and it was really yummy. We went to the store to pick up a couple more things that I forgot, and I came back. She went home, and now I'm doing more work. So, as promised, I will give you an update of what it looks like. This is the last update of tonight, but of course I will update you on the finished product as it comes um, I think I'm going to film probably tomorrow and Wednesday and then film that progress and upload that. And then on Saturday, my roommate's moving in, Alex, and we're getting all of our big stuff. So then that'll be a separate move in vlog. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, I'll show you guys a little update. I put this little whiteboard on the wall. Um, I tried to stick it right here on the fridge and it wouldn't stick to this with the command strips. So I put it here, we're gonna have a big, big mirror right there, so that's why I put it so close to my door. Anyways, here are my little door decks from school last year from living in the dorms, and here's my room. I actually moved my bed today because I wasn't loving it in the other spot. We thought this would be better, so now I have this over here, burning a little candle, that's kind of my backpack, more decorations, decorations, makeup stuff. And yeah, I have these cute lights up. This poster is from Ikea, it was from last year. I don't know if I still have it. My mom got me these little succulent felt things. They are falling down, so I need to fix them, but those are really cute. And then I got this tapestry last year from Amazon. And I just put up a mirror on my door so that when I get dressed in the morning, I have a mirror. And then in my closet, I have this instead of a dresser. So here's my hamper. And then underwear, bras, um, and everything else. And then obviously I'm gonna get some hangers and hang stuff up in here. This is socks. This is miscellaneous items that I'm just storing in here for now so that I don't have to look at them. Out here, we don't have a ton of updates, just mostly more stuff in all of the cabinets, which is nice. I'm gonna make some overnight oats in just a minute, which I will show you the recipe, but look, we finally have some cups, which is nice. Um, microwave, toaster. Alex got one of these, which is awesome because didn't know we had one. This is our drying rack, which I moved, and then these are some little prints. These are also from Ikea. We have a fruit bowl now, and a kettle, and a Keurig. Oh, this is my mini cutting board that I need to put away. So yeah, the rest of the space is still really empty, but it's, it's coming together finally. Sorry, it's a little dark, but uh, the cabinet is covering my light, so we'll work on that later. But I'm gonna show you guys the overnight oats that I'm gonna make. This is a recipe I got off of Weight Watchers which I am dipping my toes into slowly but surely. So first things first is I'm getting a jar. This is a mason jar that my mother gave me. Don't know what size it is, but you know, whatever. So first you need, I'll show you all the ingredients. You need one banana. You need peanut butter powder and chocolate. I'm adding in a little bit of cinnamon. You need unsweetened uh, almond milk. I chose vanilla and uncooked oats. So first you're gonna take your banana and cut it. This is her. So you take half of it and stick it in the jar. Grab a spoon and you mash that up. So then you add in your half cup of almond milk and you do a third cup of oats. That was a 
weirdly satisfying noise. He put the rest of the banana in and two tablespoons of the PB chocolate powder. This PB chocolate powder sound, smells really good. I did my nails last night and they're really long. These are my natural nails. I'll show you guys in better light in a second. Oh, but I keep trying to, oh, see, I just messed it up. I keep trying to open stuff and <laughs> nothing will open. Just added a little bit of cinnamon in there. You're just supposed to go for a pinch of salt. So now you mix it all back up. This is what she looks like. Please hold. This is what she looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And now I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge and enjoy it in the morning. So one other thing before I head off for the night, I discovered these new drinks that I'm sure many people use um but as someone starting weight watchers uh these are zero points so if you really like caffeine if you really like um drinking something with your meals which i do so i've been trying to do iced tea um but this is a really good alternative this is the bi antioxidant infusion i have several flavors so far i like all of them but yeah that's just something i wanted to mention if you are also trying to lose weight that uh, these are only five calories per serving, which there are two per bottle, so 10 calories if you drink the whole bottle, and there are only two grams of sugar. And also, there is 30 milligrams per serving of caffeine. So that's what I drank today instead of getting a tea or an energy drink, I just had this instead, and it actually kept me fairly awake. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed those tips and my little overnight oats, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, you guys. Sorry if you can hear the fan. I forgot to turn it off before I sat down and I'm not getting back up because this bed is so low to the ground. It's really hard to get out of. But that's okay, I have a box spring coming on Saturday when all of my other big stuff comes. Anyways, I just thought I would show you what I'm eating for breakfast. So, I am drinking the Bi Antioxidant Cocoa Fusion. Haven't tried this flavor yet, a little bit nervous. We'll see how, how I like it, but this is, I think, the most popular flavor. I have my overnight oats, again, a little nervous. We'll see how it tastes. And uh, fruits and veggies are zero points, so I have a bowl of fruit. And why am I eating in my bedroom? I don't have a dining table, so yeah. I will update you after I eat as to whether or not it was good. Hi, I just woke up from a nap. It's like almost six o'clock. I got off of work early. Sorry, my voice is kind of, uh, I've been talking a lot, but got off of work early, which was nice. And I came back here and I just crashed because I was so tired. Now I'm gonna go make dinner and clean the kitchen because I made it really dirty today. So yeah, after that I think I'm gonna work on my room some more, which will be really fun. So I'll update you guys on what happens there. I just realized, first of all, ignore that this bun is flopping, but I just realized I did not update you guys on my breakfast. So it was really yummy, I really liked it. It was kind of like a weird thing because oatmeal is usually warm and so I'd never had overnight oats and so like eating that kind of texture cold was like a weird thing for my brain to wrap around for some reason, but it was really yummy, so that's good. And I had a bunch of fruit and I stayed full until about 11.30 and then I got really hungry. And then I came back, my lunch wasn't super substantial, so like this was my fault. Um, I came back and I had a bowl of cereal. <laughs> I mean, it was just Cheerios, but the lactose-free milk that I got, I didn't realize has so many points. So that got added in today. But tonight I'm making a kale Caesar with chicken and I'm really excited about that. So I will show you that. Also, I don't know how I feel about the coconut by antioxidant drink flavor but i'm gonna try it again it just kind of 
you know when you taste something and it tastes like a scent? To me, it tasted how um, the bath and or the body shop, like coconut body butter, smells. Like that's how it tasted. So I'm not sure about that, but yeah. Anyways, that was my breakfast update. I'm making dinner. I'll show it to you when it's ready. And yeah. This is her. I've eaten it about half. And I added a piece of bread because I really wanted bread. <laughs> and uh, it's Dave's Killer Bread and Light Land of Lakes Butter. But yeah, my whole salad is only two points and it's huge. So that's pretty rad. Um, so far I like it. The dressing is definitely not the same with plain yogurt as it is with mayonnaise, which is what you're supposed to put in the dressing, but it's still really good. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling full. I'm getting full. So feeling good. I'm getting full, which is what really matters. So yeah. Sorry if I look like a raccoon. But this is my last clip of the night. So tomorrow is going to be my last day of this first set of move-in vlogs. And then I will start doing more move-in vlogs on Saturday when Alex moves in and my dad brings all of our big stuff, our couch, everything. And yeah, so I will show you now what I did on the wall. So I have a lot of pictures and posters left, but this is what it looks like so far. Um, I'm really liking it. I feel like there's a lot of words, but I, I'm not, I'm not upset about it right now. I'm <laughs> stressed about the fact that I'm going to have to try to get it really far up the wall and I'm really short. Um, because I do have a lot more pictures than I thought I did, but I'm loving it. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed these first three days and I hope you enjoy tomorrow and I'll show you my overnight oats that I made in the morning and yeah, thanks for watching. Just wanted to say I love y'all and I feel uh, very supported right now. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's about 6.30 at night and I forgot to film after breakfast this morning and let you guys know how my overnight oats were. Honestly, I didn't like the berry one that I made yesterday as much as I like the peanut butter banana one, but I think it's because it had yogurt in it and I felt like the yogurt kind of like overpowered everything else. So I might try it without it, but we'll see in the future. Anyways, um, I'm now eating my dinner. I'm having another kale Caesar, um, but this time with also some spinach and some whole grain pasta with a little bit of cheese, garlic and butter on it. And I'm having my delicious iced tea. Thanks, Alex, for the cup. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. Honestly, I'm not going to do anything else to get ready to move in today because I'm lazy and tired and it was a long week of work. But I will upload this and I will have a new move in vlog sometime next week when Alex moves in and we do all of the big furniture and I finish decorating my room and I have all my stuff in my room. So that'll be really fun. Tomorrow I get Wi-Fi, so hopefully maybe I will edit this video tonight and then upload it tomorrow after I have Wi-Fi. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it met some, at least some of your expectations, your excitement for the move-in vlog. And I think our next one will be more exciting because Alex will be here. We'll get our living room and dining room set up and that will be really great. And I'll f get the rest of my furniture in my room and finish decorating. So thanks so much for watching. Please give this a video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and be sure to subscribe. Then you can be notified next time I make a video. Thanks. Bye. Uh, um, uh,